First of all, I want to thank the Lord for my salvation. 35, 34 years ago, I gave my life to the Lord. Um, I was a young lady, a young woman that had no direction, no purpose. And I came to Victory Outreach. Somebody had invited me. But um, I, had, I was really skeptical because I had always heard, you know, that it was a drug addict church. And I would hear songs. And I thought, how do I fit into this church? How do I fit into this puzzle? But God helped me to realize that if you take the drugs out of a drug addict, they're still without purpose and without direction. Forgive me for wanting to cry, but I know that I had no direction. I had no purpose. I was a person without, with a low self-esteem. And I knew at times I felt like, what is my purpose in life? Is it just the cycle of working and, and then coming home to like the same old routine? I felt like I needed some kind of a joy. I needed some kind of a peace. And only God can give that to me. I knew he was watching over me through my whole life. But I didn't know what it was like to have a personal relationship with him. And one day they had that altar call and they said, if, if you doubt that you're not going to heaven, if you question it, then you should come to the altar. It's not about being good that gets you to heaven. It's about living in the word of God. The Bible says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody goes to the Father except by him. And I knew that I didn't have that close relationship with God. I needed to get closer to him if I wanted to be able to make it to heaven one day because tomorrow's not promised. So I thank God that I took heed to that call when they said, if you are not sure if you're going to go to heaven, if you doubt it in your heart, if there's any doubt inside of you, then come to this altar. And I did. God broke me down and helped me to realize that he was always watching over me, that he was the answer. He's the only one that could give us peace and joy. In the midst of all this chaos and everything, he is the answer. Just know that. Tomorrow's not promised, and if he was to come back today, where would your life be? Give your life to Jesus and give him a try. Amen.
from this world strong don't be Oh, you know that I've been free now From this world strong don't be My Jesus said